Hello and good evening to all. Here you watching Evening Bulletin with Rani Singh. So let's get the top news coverage. Following military intelligence inputs a police team in coordination with military officials. On Saturday arrested three persons including a jewelry trader of Ramgad for cheating youths with the false promise to getting them a job in Indian Army. Ramgad SP Prabhat Kumar said, Jeweler Manis Kataria, owner of Kataria Jeweler and two middlemen from a tea shop were arrested. The duo allegedly consulted youth arriving from Punjab and Jammu and promised them job in the Indian Army. Youths from various villages in Punjab and Jammu are arriving at the Gresan town of Ramgad to appear for the requirement test to be conducted by Punjab Residential Centre in Ramgad on Sunday. Police said that gunmen are targeting youths at the new bus stand as those coming to Ramgarh and putting up at the lodge near the bus stand. Army officials informed the district police headquarters after inputs were received from military intelligence about the frauders. At four back-to-back -back rallies at Chapra, Samastipur, Motihari and Bahurwa that brought a close companion for the second and penultimate phase of Bihar polls on Sunday. Prime Minister Narendra Modi exerted his superstar thrust on the NDA campaign that has been carpet bombing Bihar with the arrays of star campaigners ragging from UPCM Yogi Adityanath to star Bhojpur singer Nirahua. The PM targeted the lone Mahagat Bandhan crowd pullers. It CM faced Tejasvi Prasad Yadav, the latter who was dismissed as Mere Pretender just week ago, was acknowledged as the NDA challengers. In rally after rally, PM Modi referred to the RJD leader as Jangal Raj Ka Yuvraj, while the NDA's chosen leader in Bihar, CM Nitish Kumar, seemed sleeping on his 15 year versus 15 years campaign. The PM recalled the 15 year of the Lalu Rabri Raj as the Jangal Raj, which he retired, must not be allowed a return. Coincidentally, the PM concluded the day's campaign at Bahurwa farm field on the Harinagar sugar mill under Chothirwa police station in West Champaran's Baga police district, which was one of the many epicenters of the kidnap for ransom industry that has plugged West Champaran. Then, Odisha Governor Ganeshi Lal and his wife Sushila Devi on Monday tested positive for COVID-19 along with four other members in the family. The official Twitter handle of the governor announced that all of them has been admitted to the some COVID hospital in Bhuvaneshwar for treatment. The health condition of 78-year-old Lal is stated to be stable. All are asymptomatic. The IDD camp and private secretary of the governor as well as two doctors in Odisha, Raj Bhavan, had recently tested positive for COVID-19. In Odisha, about one-third of the 170 MLAs, including 10 ministers, have already tested positive for COVID-19. Former minister and BJD MLA Pradeep Maharatri, who tested positive last month and later recovered, passed away last month. The least five people were killed on Monday after two cars hit a triple truck carrying diesel near Kadapa Airport in Andhra Pradesh. As per the report, four people died on the spot after the vehicle caught fire. Another was rushed to Rims Hospital for treatment where the person succumbed to be injury. The accident occurred at around 3 a.m. More information is awaited. Chhattisgarh along with Andhra Pradesh recorded the highest spike in good and service tax. Collection in October 2020, RS 404 crore and 505 crore respectively as compared to the last year in the corresponding month. The two states recorded a spike of 26% in this year despite the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. While Chhattisgarh recorded a GST collection of RS 1974 crore in October 2020 as compared to the 1,570 crore in the same month in 2019. Andhra Pradesh collected RS 2,480 crore and RS 1,975 crore in the corresponding period, 
far-sighted decision taken under the leadership of Chief Minister Bhupesh Bagel to maintain the growth of the state's economy during the COVID-19 crisis have a held pleasant result. Even during the lockdown period, the economic activists in rural and forest areas continued. The Chhattisgarh government had said in the official statement on Monday. That's all for today. For more information, stay connected with us. Thank you.